When Cheryl needed some minor roof work done, she did the right thing and got three quotes. But when two tradies randomly turned up to give her a fourth, things got nasty. Now Cheryl has this warning. Unwanted, unwelcome. Uneasy the whole time, intimidated. The two red-headed roofers ripe for a rip-off. I felt like a really vulnerable 72-year-old lady, which I'm not accustomed to. They rocked up, got on the roof, and when the ceiling came tumbling down... He said to me, oh, now we're going to have to fix it, aren't we? After the damage was done, these cowboy roofers left $2,500 richer and never returned to right the roof. I feel like an idiot. I'm terrified for other elderly. Cheryl noticed her carport ceiling had started to sag, so the Melbourne grandmother used online business directories One Flare and Bark to find a roofer. N never get one quote, so that's why I thought I'll, I'll look for four people. Cheryl thought she was doing everything right, reading online reviews and carefully selecting trades to get quotes because I've been through an agency before to get work done around the house and they've always been good, reliable, and they say that they verify that companies are legal, are legit. Three roofers arrived one after the other, all quoting between nine to $12,000 for the job. I was expecting three because I'd already re declined the fourth and um, the fourth one just turned up after all the others left. He said to me, I'm from Bark. Cheryl recalls them being on her roof for as little as five to ten minutes before an almighty collapse. I thought the thunder was coming down, honestly. It just hit the concrete out there like... Because I was told by three other contractors that it wouldn't just fall down like that. I was concerned. That's when the roofers, she believes, both go by the name Michael, started asking for money. We need $5,000 now to go and get the equipment to fix this. So I thought, I'm not going to get rid of you if I don't do this. They were very threatening in their manner and the way they spoke. You paid them $2,500 just to get them off your property. That's how scared I felt. After a day from hell and a ceiling collapse, Cheryl was then bombarded with phone calls. The duo calling her over and over, right up until 10 p.m., asking for more money to fix the mess they made. That was harassing. I was starting to get nervous that they were going to come back that night, actually. So what do you think about this end result? I've just wasted $20,000 of my savings. Cheryl's ordeal didn't end with the duo, but with this. Shoddy workmanship by a different roofer Cheryl had received a quote from that day. This hasn't even been properly painted. No, if you're over the roll door, it's not been painted at all. You can all. see all of the joins. Stratton Roofing promised to return and redo their handiwork, but so far have taken $20,000 from Cheryl and haven't come back. I'd like it done properly. While a current affair isn't suggesting Cheryl has been scammed by Stratton Roofing, sadly, data collated by Scamwatch shows older Australians, just like Cheryl, are losing money to different types of scams at an alarmingly high rate. More than 23,000 reports were made to the ACCC by those aged 65 and over this year alone, accounting for almost five million million in lost dollars. Well, I think scammers probably do think that um, older people are perhaps easier uh, to intimidate or to scare, which is why it's such a shocking thing. CEO at the Council on the Ageing, Patricia Sparrow. Don't pay in cash, ask for a quote. Don't pay till the work's done. Uh, wait till you've got an invoice. Uh, if someone's knocking on your door and you're uncomfortable, don't worry about your manners, just shut the door. Uh, and if you're on, the, on a call, hang up. So Cheryl, what will you do next time you need work done? <laughs> Call current affair to find me a good one. 
You live in fear of hoping to God nothing's going to go wrong anymore. Yeah, it should never have come to that. Well, Stratton Roofing now says it will refund Cheryl's $20,000. And yes, we will stay on their case to make sure that they do.